Welcome to a new studio vlog. I just spilt my tea everywhere. Like, literally, right when I pressed record. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, welcome to a new studio vlog. Um, it's Saturday, and I, I was thinking, you know, what a perfect day it would be to spend a few hours and make watercolor bookmarks. Um, because this has been something I've been wanting to do for a while. And I was also like, okay, I haven't done this double camera thing for a long time, so why not do that too? Um, by the way, my tea isn't really tea, it's just, um, lemon juice, half of a lemon with honey and hot water. But yeah, I like to just call it tea because it reminds me of tea. So I started these two flower bookmarks here and then I also have all these scraps of paper um, that I want to make into bookmarks and I cut them down to size and I also um, trimmed the edges because some of the edges had a black um, edge from my watercolor block so I trimmed that off too. And then yesterday I went live here on YouTube for a watercolor tutorial and painted these loose flowers. I just realized you might not be able to see um, what I'm doing here. Yeah, let me adjust my camera. Okay, so yeah, we went live and we painted three types of loose watercolor flowers. Um, and so I was thinking of making these into bookmarks and maybe this into a bookmark it would just be kind of like a big bookmark so I don't really know yet about that one these two are and this one are going to be kind of like just little paintings so I don't think I'll make these into bookmarks really just these two I guess and maybe this maybe I'll trim it um, tr trim the side so it's a little thinner and then uh, round the corners again and my corner rounder is this here and I linked it in the description of the video as well as everything else I'm using. So yeah, I, I think when I'm done painting a few other types of bookmarks I will then um, round the edges of them and um, hole punch them and add ribbon. So we'll do that later on. So the next type of bookmark I'm thinking of doing is a moon, like a moon phase. I, I want you to see what I'm doing, and I guess I also have this camera too, but yeah, sorry, I keep adjusting that. So, let's see, the paints I'm using are from KMS Watercolor, um, but I also might use my Metallic Accents paints here. So yeah, um, and I have this really pretty um, color from KMS Watercolor. So let's paint a moon face. Um, I think I will maybe use this scrap here. And I, I need some kind of like round thing to trace because I don't know about you, but I cannot make a perfect circle. So maybe I'll take one of these things. Yeah, this is perfect. And like, just trace it. I love painting moon phases. Um, they're always so fun to paint, relaxing and just, yeah. I like to paint them as bookmarks. And um, also, as paintings. They make really, really pretty paintings, and those, my my moon paintings, um, always sell better than my other kinds of paintings. Okay, I should have moved this one a little bit, <laughs> a little bit farther down. It's okay. Yeah, maybe this will be the top because I do have to pull punch which is one of the things I forget to think about when I do bookmarks is that, oh yeah, I need a space, a good space up here to hole punch. As I'm doing this, I wanted to share that um, if you did 
the bird challenge with me. Thank you so much for joining us. If you don't know what that is, we did a watercolor bird challenge for 10 days. We painted five birds in 10 days. And yeah, it was so much fun. And it ended um, on Wednesday. So like three or four days ago, it ended. And it was a big success. I, th I feel like you guys really liked it. So um, that went very well. I still haven't finished my birds. I don't know when I will. It'll probably take me um, over the course of like a few months, to be honest, to finish them. Okay, I'm trying to freehand this. I guess this looks fine. But I'm thinking of adding these bookmarks to my big shop update. I'm going to have a huge shop update in February. And it'll be uh, a bunch of original art, new prints. And then maybe I'll also add these bookmarks. And I might have some new stickers. We'll see. I just need to figure that out. <laughs> I haven't really... um. Like, I, I need to order stickers if I want to have any in my shop update. Okay, I'm thinking, my, like, for my moons, I want to use this disco color. I'm trying to think here. Maybe I'll use a little bit of this and my meteor shower. So, yeah, these are KMS watercolor paints, and they're glittery. I already showed you this one, but, yeah, maybe I'll do this moon, these colors, and maybe I'll even use this white metallic paint from Metallic Accents. Two. Um, so yeah, let's let's do that, and then I'll probably make another moon phase later on too with different colors. So the brush I want to use is my size four round brush. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I also wanted to share with you guys that my monthly membership nature with watercolor is open and it's only open a few times a year um, and it closes this week of this this vlog coming out it closes on Friday so if you do want to just check it out and see if it's something you would like I linked that in the description below we are almost to 40 members and my my goal um, is 40 by the end of January so hopefully I get to my goal and my next goal um, which is my this would be awesome goal is 45 but I, I'm not sure if we'll make it to that number um, so yeah that's exciting I think I'm gonna start yeah with this in here I think I'll just fill this in. Um, then maybe I'll take this other, this other um, brush, take this disco. Oh my gosh, my paint is drying already. I should have thought of this before adding my paint to my paper. Maybe mix that in. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing around. So, just playing around. This is kind of just a Saturday in the life of an artist, of a watercolor artist video. I haven't been vlogging throughout the week because I have been on my computer, e either at my computer, do you mean? business and computer work or painting birds for the challenge so yeah it's it's just been a weird few weeks i haven't really been doing too many fun things to vlog about like packing orders because i'm gonna be real with you guys i've only had a few orders this month like i i can count them on one hand which is crazy because Usually I have way more than that, um, but 
January is just slow. It's a slow month. It always has been for me and I think that's the case for almost everyone else. January is just a very slow month. Um, and plus I haven't been focusing on my product, my, my, the product side of my business. I've been focusing on this month on my membership and that bird challenge. Those were the two big things that, um, are happening this month and so I, I was like I can't handle doing a shop update this month I, I can't do it so I was like okay I just won't focus on products and instead I'll just do a shop update in February and I was also thinking how I want my year to go I, I was kind of thinking more about it um, and that I I want to focus more on YouTube and go all in on YouTube um, because I feel like this platform will be great for my business in the future and um, it not only allows me to connect with you with you guys on a deeper level through video but it also like helps me help you guys on a deeper level too that I cannot do on Instagram and other um, avenues. So yeah, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to go all in on YouTube. YouTube is going to be the, my main focus this year as well as my membership. I'm going to go deeper in that to try and make it better. Um, and then I was thinking yeah, like Instagram, yeah, I will contribute to Instagram too, but I'm not going to actively try and grow my following, which is fine because usually um, as my YouTube channel grows, so does my Instagram because you, you guys find me on Instagram too, so yeah, but <laughs> yeah, this Moon is going to be closer to this one. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. It's okay. Maybe. Maybe I'll make it a little lower. So I was thinking that products, yeah, I, I will still do products this year. And I know in my video where I was sharing my goals with you and I, I was sharing how to plan the best year for your art business. I'll, I'll put that up in the card above or in the description below, but I shared, oh, you know, I want to try stationery. So maybe I will, we'll see. I'm trying to redraw this moon. So I, I might still try stationery, but um, it's okay. I'm trying to tell myself it's okay that that I don't, um, but it would be cool too. So this year I'm thinking we'll be more focused on my YouTube channel here and just doubling down on my videos and trying to grow my YouTube, um, trying to make it better because the future of my art business is YouTube and there's so much opportunity here so yeah um, anyways I just wanted to update you on that um, those thoughts that I've been having so yeah I, I do plan on doing more stickers like new stickers I might even design some new sticker sheets here for my next shop update. I'll actually be digitizing my artwork today a little bit. Um, working on that. I think some of the artwork I haven't digitized yet that I would want to make into stickers or prints. I, I did a business training, um, it was a week ago almost, almost a week ago, I think eight days ago, and 
it made me realize that it's okay to not do new things every year. Instead, to do what I'm already doing, but better. So that's kind of, I feel like, where I want this year to go. I want to do what I have been doing and um, continue what, with what I have been doing, like with my membership and YouTube, but do it better. So, yeah. And I, I kind of shared this on Instagram already, but there's a scene that I um, recently saw that I really like, and it's, a dull axe requires great strength. Just think about that for a second. A dull axe requires great strength. So you need to sharpen the axe. And this year, it's all about sharpening the axe for me. Doing what I'm already doing and making it better. So making my membership better, making my online classes better, um, stuff like that, making my YouTube channel better, figuring out um, how I can serve you better here on YouTube. So yeah, if you have any um, video ideas for me, let me know um, and what, what you want to see more of in this channel. And yeah, just doing YouTube better, maybe upping my, my video quality. <laughs> which is something that I've, I'm currently trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out how I can improve the quality of my live tutorials. And let me just tell you, live stream setups is insane. So insane, so complicated, like, oh my gosh. I, so Jimmy, thankfully, he, I think he's going to help me figure that out because it's intense live streaming and right now I just do it on my phone and I mean you guys don't really complain but like with the Friday tutorials that I do every Friday live um, but you know it would be nice to kind of make the quality of them a little better because I, I just go live on my phone which is what I'm using here um, so yeah, and that also means maybe um, if I'm in a good place financially with my business this year that I will invest in a vlogging camera so that I don't have to use my phone. Like I have this DSLR that I'm using like right here, but it's not great for vlogging. Like I can't see myself. So I never use it to vlog. I just use it for like B-roll stuff um, and other things where I don't have to um, look at myself in the camera, if that makes sense. So yeah, anyways, I'm just very talkative right now and I'm rambling on. I hope you don't mind. But yeah, here's my moon face. And it, yeah, it doesn't really look that great. And I just dabbed my brush right here. It's fine. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I think I'm going to do paint splatters on here on this moon, moon face. So, basically to cover up that little smudge. Okay, I think I'm going to stop talking now, but it was fun chatting with you. Um, let's continue making these bookmarks together.
so much for watching this vlog. If you made it this far, answer this in the comments below. Have you ever painted watercolor bookmarks before? And if you haven't, would you? I'd love to know. And let me know what bookmark is your favorite one. If you enjoyed this vlog, you might like this other vlog where I make more bookmarks. You can find it in the card above or in the description below. And you can also find links to all of the supplies I used in this vlog to make these bookmarks. And I also get asked a lot if I spray my bookmarks with a varnish and the answer is yes. I just forgot to in this vlog, but I will be covering up the ribbon and spraying down these bookmarks with a varnish and I'll link that varnish in the description below too. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.